Hey, so today I want to talk about the huge contrast between mania and depression in uh, irregular videos. So, mania, I mean this Arnold Schwarzenegger type uh, fantasies about all your dreams coming true, achieving high things, uh, usually when you maybe haven't smoked for a couple of days, maybe you relatively had a good rest, you smoke up, and it feels so great, and... Usually I have this, especially when I mix a bit of acid into weed, uh, not even smoking, rather uh, brownies. And you know, I really have this extreme level of fantasies of achieving a level of life like Arnold Schwarzenegger. So if you recap the, his life or somewhat familiar, he turned from an Austrian boy. So he was an Austrian boy, he didn't like it that much uh, the, after the war, it wasn't like so rich, he saw a video about America, saw uh, a video about bodybuilding, and he came up with this life plan of becoming a bodybuilder, looking good, through that he moved to America, win uh, trophies, uh, get recognized, and through that become an actor, become rich and also become a politician so he he maxed out his life and he had all these uh, achievements and and like this great master plan and i have these kind of fantasies too of of like making him making it big here on youtube maybe becoming like a model because i will get like a full body suit tattoo like traveling to like exotic places being successful with girls and uh eventually become an F1 race car driver or something like these like who becomes like uh, an F1 race car driver only like 20 slots in the grid and people need to be like millionaires and stuff but when I smoke off after a while I have th this extent of really high level of fantasies uh, you know daydreaming ma mental masturbation all these words I can uh, use it <laughs> use it on this uh thing and you know in reality i'm just like fantasizing i'm all looking dumb like all stoned i watch youtube videos i literally look up for example how much an f1 car costs if you want to buy some old f1 car you can buy it for i don't know a couple of hundred thousand to a million euros and so i really go wild about fantasizing about all my dreams and the things that I want but in reality but I don't do anything to make it happen I don't feel like you know doing anything just fantasizing and scrolling on YouTube and watching interesting stuff when I'm high then the next day I'm like oh we tang over absolutely low dopamine don't feel like doing anything and especially if I just smoked for a couple of days then i'm like oh i really need to quit because i don't do anything then i'm end up in this weed withdrawal state where you know i feel like an absolute loser i look at my life how much i wasted how much i was living with this like constant fantasizing about achieving things but never actually you know making it happen or i've never doing the actual steps to to make it happen as arnold says like every rep that you take uh gives you one more one step closer to your goal and you know not starting the reps and i feel like a lot of people are uh, in the same boots i i could uh, take this example of wax uh the the rapper he's got a really good rapper really good uh, he has really good vibes on songs he has one song uh, called uh, i should have tried harder and he really like just sings about this effect when you just go to a bar go to party smoke up um give in to instant gratification but you still kind of like fantasize about becoming an actor or something a big musician and receiving an award but you know he thinks about he didn't take action and he just uh in the bar and drinking or something or also interesting hint, historical example i'm really a big fan of of uh, world war ii 
not fan, it just fascinates me. So Adolf Hitler was kind of in the same boots. He, I mean, he did made it big, so to speak, he did, did became leader of a country. But after he attacked the Soviet Union and after one or two years, uh, it was pretty visible that he really messed up and the uh, tide of the war turned. Obviously, he was all stressed out, uh, he had difficulty sleeping and stuff, and he had a doctor called uh, Dr. Morel, and he always just gave him a bunch of cocktail of drugs, for example, testosterone or methamphetamines, which uh, definitely, you know, increase dopamine, just like weed or caffeine does, and he always turned from this, like, depressed uh, person to, like, enthusiastic and Still, despite of the reality that a lot of his generals saw that, hey, the war is lost, he was, like, enthusiastic and, you know, we'll have the final victory even though, like, uh, I mean, if you saw the movie called uh, The Runtergang, The Downfall, it's really visible in the movie's depiction uh, of Hitler that uh, if Steiner attacks, uh, everything's gonna be alright, so even when it was very apparent for everyone that the war is lost, he shoot up and he was like uh, having hope and he was like close to these fantasies of final victory. So I really wanted to make this video of, of, of this delusional effect of, of I think a lot of uh, smokers um, experience and maybe if someone smokes like every couple of weeks or once a month maybe you can like fantasize but when you like so smoke once a month let's say and that maybe you fantasize and then not feel so hangovers the next days that you don't do anything uh but really for most of people just constant uh too much weed use leads to just empty fantasizing and never taking action which i feel like eventually this is like the huge danger of weed weed is like not dangerous in terms of your health and doesn't kills you but it really kills your your fantasies it really just uh fuels your ambitions and fantasies into la la land uh, into this built of fantasy reality and kind of like since you live out the fantasies in your mind you don't really have like room left to actually wake up the next day and start to make the steps of actually achieving it because you know achieving these kind of extreme fantasies like you know, I really had unrealistic fantasies like become an F1 race car champion and stuff. So that takes a long time and the reality of and the possibility of failure is is like a scary one. Um, but like really Arnold Schwarzenegger said, like every rep you take, every step you take brings you closer to your goal and uh I don't know man <laughs> I try to go into that direction from now so I don't know how many of you guys are in the same shoes uh let me know in the comment section I, I, I genuinely curious if it's someone like kind of realized their, their situation from this video and if you like this video check out my other videos and maybe subscribe to my channel so thanks for watching